Thank you, Lita. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Coventry answer to the Parker Brothers and Milton Bradley, the Willy Wonka of obscure candies, the, the star of many a bee, <laughs> the man who in a moment will find out if this is the year that the, the sports jacket is too tight to fit, which is a moment I know you've all been waiting for. So with no further delay, please welcome Steve Presser. Thank you. Um, as always, I really enjoy this event. It's, uh, it's such a wonderful organization. It's so great to see the community out, both young and a little bit older. And what makes it so special is it's, it's a fun evening for all you new spellers, which there's not too many, uh, but it's also a competitive evening. So uh, for the audience who's never been here before and for those spellers who've never participated before, uh, your, your fellow Spellers take this very seriously, <laughs> and that's a good thing, but they also take it comically, which is a good thing for me. Um, I've got the easy task, or at least I used to think I had the easy task of just pronouncing the names of the teams and the spellers and not having to deal with the word pronunciation, but uh, over the years, they've thrown me some curveballs, so uh, ahead of time, I apologize if I butcher anybody's name. That's why they gave me this job. <laughs> Okay, one of the things we want to do is thank the Cleveland Heights drumline for bringing the wonderful spellers in with musical accompaniment. That's Joe Mullen, Alfonso Davis, and Tyler Hollingsworth. Spellers, each round is segregated, so if by chance you misspell a word, please stay on the stage until the end of the round and then we will graciously ask you to exit. <laughs> I'm on page two? Boy, I tell you, we're on page two. It's a high paying job. Okay, we have an award every year. It sits prominently right in front of me. No, it's the one over there, yeah. I'm already getting heckled. Uh, <laughs> it's the delightfully tacky trophy that honors the best and loudest cheering section. Patrick, you were right. I should read this and not try to ad lib it. And this goes to the audience particip participants out there who make the loudest and hopefully the most positive cheer for their team. So this award right down here will be bestowed after the fourth round. So pr please participate, it's part of the fun. Speaking of the raffle after the fourth round, tickets will be sold throughout the evening until the fourth round. And you can buy the tickets right now in the back of the auditorium. Uh, there will be a break after the fourth round. And here are some of the prizes. We have an iPad, iPod Nano, a gas card and oil chain from, change from Brian's Marathon, two passes to all Heights High sporting events. And by the way, I go to quite a few events. They're $6 now, so that's a heck of a, heck of a prize. Red wine and coffee from Restless Coffee, Clyde's Bistro, and Zoss the Swiss Baker. Cleveland Orchestra tickets, I wonder where we got those. Indian tickets, and there are many other fabulous prizes. We'd like to thank the district, the school district, Channel 22 for taping and broadcasting the Bee. It's always one of their most popular shows. You will, I, I promise you, you, for those who haven't participated before, people will come up to you, and I'm, I'm not lying, I'm telling the truth, and they'll say, I saw you on TV, and so be prepared. <laughs> it's not gonna be America's Most Wanted, it's gonna be the spelling bee. Okay, we have judges for this evening, and we do have quite a panel of judges. We'll start with an actual judge, Judge Dean Buchanan. He's a Cleveland Heights Municipal Judge, and he's served as a B judge twice before. Judge? <laughs> We also have Heights Library Director Nancy Levin, and she's joined us for the second time. We're glad to have her once again. <laughs> Cleveland Heights University Heights School Superintendent Doug How Howard. It's a first time judge, it's his first year, and we're very happy 
to have him join the celebration of our schools and be part of this wonderful event. And then, at the end, and I have to say a little disclaimer here because you have to uh, judge equitably since there is a team that you uh, pontificate on Sundays to. The Reverend John Lentz, pastor of Forest Hills Presbyterian Church. I love this guy. It's his first year. He's a Proud Heights High parent and spouse of former Reaching Heights trustee Deanna. Okay, let's give our judges a warm round of applause. And for 19 years, Steve Tichenall has projected every word of every spe spelling bee right up there for those in the audience to see and those up on stage not to see. So when you hear a uh, finish spelling your word, but yeah, that's a sound you don't want to hear.